Okay, let's talk about the PERT test. And that stands for, well, it's Florida's post-secondary education readiness test. So there's the PERT part. But this is a uh, test you take in the state of Florida when you're going to college. It's basically a placement test. So uh, we're going to be talking specifically about the math that you are going to encounter on the PERT exam. So we've got a, a practice problem here that you should be able to handle pretty uh, easily if you're fully prepared for the PERT. Of course, just by virtue of you watching this video, you're taking uh, this exam, this test, uh, seriously as you should be because the better you do on the PERT exam, the better you know, you're know you going to place into college. And that's always a smart thing because you want to get into uh, the level of classes that you know align to your full potential. You just don't want to you know, take any class because you, you know, you'll be wasting time and money if you, you know, have to repeat stuff you already know. So you want to do uh, really, really well on these exams. And this particular test, I would say that the math on this test is uh, more than just basic high school level math that you want to know. You really, you know, we're talking about you know, more advanced stuff, you know, maybe trigonometry, uh, et cetera. So, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, you had a pretty nice um, run in high school in terms of the courses you, you've taken. But, you know, uh, if not, you know, you, uh, and you still have, if you still have time to prepare for the PERT, you know, you have to get yourself into a nice study, you know, program and just do the best you can. That's basically what you can do. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself uh, because I'd like to introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several, several years have constructed many online math courses to include a PERT math prep course. So um, all my courses, you know, I've worked um, very hard to develop, you know, what I think is um, pretty nicely aligned math courses to get a person prepared for that particular exam. So I do a lot of research and I, you know, I construct a, uh, you know, courses that are, that I try to, you know, I, not to be too easy, but not to be too hard, you know, if you will, kind of just right. But uh, anyways, if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave a link to that uh, test prep course in the description of this video. You can check that out later if you like. But let's get to this problem here. Okay, so again, um, this is something you should be able to handle uh, pretty nicely uh, if you're fully ready for the PERT and you're ready to, you know, you're going to, you know, uh, uh, be able to handle all the problems you very well could encounter. Okay, so the way I like to do these videos is uh, one, I'm gonna describe the problem, and then if you know what you're doing, go ahead and pause the video and, and solve it. Uh, if you need a bit of a hint, I'm going to give you a hint, and then of course I'm going to solve the problem. So the first thing is on this particular problem, um, no calculators, so I'm not looking for you to use calculators. All right, so that's number one. Uh, and number two, let's get to the problem. So here I have an equation. I have two to the x power is equal to 10. I'd like you to solve for x, okay? So this is an equation. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, you can see that it is. So I'd like you to solve for x. And um, so for those of you that think you know what you're doing, go ahead and pause the video and do so. And now it's time for a hint, okay? So what is the hint? Well, not much of a hint. Well, yeah, a little bit of a hint. <laughs> I gotta be careful because I don't wanna give the solution away. I wanna still give you an opportunity to solve this, but what we have here is an exponential equation, an exponential equation, and we solve exponential equations now using logarithms. And when we have logarithmic equations, we use um, exponents to solve those guys, okay? Because exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverses of one another. So hopefully this is kind of like, you know, bringing up some memories from your math courses. Uh, and I'll just say this much. Your hint, your final hint for this problem, <clears throat> excuse me, is that you're going to be using logarithms. Okay, so you're going to be using logarithms to solve this problem. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into the problem. So um, as I stated, this is an equation. It's called an, we would classify this as an exponential equation because the variable is an exponent, okay? Now, out there, you know, some of you might, at first glance, might have been thinking, oh, if this was x to the second power equals 10, right? If we just flip the exponent 
and the base here. This is a quadratic equation. This is a completely different deal than this, right? So if you just think about it, we're like, oh, we're trying to solve for x. This is a little bit tricky because what power 2 to the what power is 10? Well, let's just kind of guess here. If x was 1, that's 2 to the first power is 2. Well, obviously, that's not 10. 2 squared is 4. Okay, I need to get to 10. So let's keep increasing that exponent. So 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. That's 8. Well, we're almost there at 10, so let's go up one more. 2 to the 4th is what? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that's 16. So, whoop, we went too far, right? So our answer is going to be somewhere between 3 and 4. And to the way we know precisely what the power of x is, or what x has to be in order for this to get to be 10, we have to use this concept of logarithms. Super important subject in mathematics. And, um, you know, obviously I could teach for hours on this stuff. That's not, you know, I don't want to go off on too many tangents in this particular video. That's where my uh, math courses uh, are about. But uh, let's go ahead and use logarithms here to solve this. If you know what you're doing, this is going to be easy. If you don't know what you're doing, obviously you're going to struggle with it. But this is something, again, that you should be able to, you know, uh, that you're going to need to be able to kind of handle if you want to be fully ready uh, for the PERT. Okay, so what we want to do here is just take the log log of both sides, a common log, that's log base 10. Again, I don't want to over teach this. This is, you know, I don't want to turn this video into a whole lesson on logs through this one problem. But basically what you're going to want to do first is take the logarithm of both sides. Now, that's how this looks here, okay? Now, the next step is we can, uh, there's a property of logarithms where I can take this little, X exponent here, this little x, and write it in front of the logarithm. This is really, really important. So it's going to be x log 2 is equal to log 10. Now, if you did have your calculator, uh, you would know that the log of a number, okay, irrespective of what base it is, like log 7, 12, or log uh, f uh, 15, or ln uh, 6, all these, okay, when we look at these, the logarithm of any particular uh, number is an actual, it's just a number, okay? Just think of it as a value, right? Although you're, you know, we're looking at it with logs and stuff like that. So this is just a number, this is just a number. Let's just replace these here real quick. So this log two is a number. Let's say that was like three. I'm just, uh, X times three, I'm just making something up. And let's say this is 12. So if I have X times three, in algebra, we like to write the x this way, 3x is equal to 12. I would divide both sides of the equation by 3, so x would be equal to 4. Okay, so this is really what I want you to just to interpret this is just a basic one-step equation. So to solve for x, okay, I can just simply divide both sides of the equation by log 2. That's just a value, log 2, like so. And so we can just leave it like this, log x is equal to log 10 divided by log 2. And we can get into other uh, things about how to simplify logarithmic expressions, uh, etc. But that's not the point of this problem. This would be the solution. Now, if you wanted the actual, you know, value decimal, okay, you could then uh, go into your calculator and calculate this out, okay? But... Really, I, I was only really looking for you to be able to solve this thing. Because even if I gave you the calculator, you, if you don't know what you're doing, you're still not going to be able to, you know, uh, solve the problem. <laughs> you know, a calculator is just a tool, all right? It's like if you gave somebody a, you know, a saw. Well, maybe a saw is too basic, but some other kind of like specialty tool. If they didn't know how to use it, it's not going to do them any good, right? So same thing here. Um, logarithms, exponential functions, to be able to solve logarithmic equations, exponential equations, very, very important. Just even understand the concept of what a logarithm is. Very, very important part of uh, math. And, you know, again, we're not talking like calculus or nothing like this. Uh, this is more, you know, uh, higher level um, high school level math, you know, and remember you learn this stuff in high school. So you're going off to post-secondary education. You're going off to college. You're going to need to know this stuff. And um, even if you're, you know, not going to do any technical major, um, trust me, you're still going to have to take 
uh, basic level math class just to satisfy your general requirements, I'm sure, in school. Uh, and you're going to have to face this stuff anyway. So it's really the smart thing to do to prepare now so you can get the benefit of doing as well as you can on the PERT and, and your placement, and also to be ready to roll into whatever math class you're going to be likely facing uh, in college. But let's go and wrap up this video. So again, I'm going to leave a link to my PERT math prep course in the description of this video. It's, again, super comprehensive. I think will really benefit you. If you like my teaching style, this is where I do my best work. Um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I've been on YouTube at the time of this video for like a good 12 years or so. I already have hundreds of videos on my channel that can help you out uh, with the PERT math section. And I'm posting stuff all the time, so hopefully you, you'll consider subscribing. If you like this video, definitely appreciate it. a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Uh, what school are you uh, looking to go to? Um, you know, what what major? I know Florida has, like a lot of the states, you can, um, you know, be going to college while you're in high school, which is awesome. I wish they kind of had that back in my day. <laughs> That's a really, I don't, they probably had some of those. I mean, I went to school in California several decades ago, uh, but they don't have, it's definitely nothing like what you can do now. I mean, like there's, you can get like your associate's degree if you play your cards right in some of these states in high school, which is awesome. You know, think about the time and money you're saving. Uh, so, uh, you know, you take advantage of everything that's available to you. So, you know, um, just curious if, if maybe you've uh, done that as well. Who, who knows? Maybe you, you, know, you already have your associates and you're, you're graduating high school, which is really cool. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the uh, the PERT and going into college and whatever you decide to major in. Um, hope this video helped you out. Thank you for your time and have a great day.